Welcome to Revive, the focus on modern Christianity in the Humber area. In this episode, we're looking at worship music. We've gone behind the scenes at Vineyard Records, one of the UK's biggest Christian record labels based here in Hull. And we'll also be meeting Sute, a local music artist who feels he was called to sing for the Lord. We're right next to Hull's trendy fruit market, home to festivals, concerts and a vibrant music scene. But did you know that Hull is also home to a budding worship and gospel scene, with its own global record label, gospel artists and a songwriting scene that sees songs written that are sung around the world. Today we're going to meet one of those gospel artists, but first let's find out about that record label, Vineyard Records. Vineyard are a Christian charismatic movement with over 1,500 churches worldwide. For the past 25 years, they've been producing worship music like this. And here in Hull is the UK's Vineyard Records branch. Worship music has a great way of giving us that ability to focus our attention on God. And it's something so powerful, so beautiful, and I love it. I love what it does. This room here is the main recording room for the studios here in Vigno Records. Uh, it's, a, it's one of the largest rooms in the building and it's a great space just to do some recording with bands that we get sent in. Sometimes we'll do a full band setup where we'll have uh, a whole band in here tracking live, but more often than not we'll have individual instrumentalists, maybe as you can see we've got the drum set up, a drummer would be in here or we would have vocalists over singing into the vocal mic in the corner and capturing that separately and we send everything from this room through into the control room. Our focus isn't sales and iTunes charts and tour buses, you know, it, it really is capturing what we feel like God's doing and uh, within the Vineyard family we feel like we've got our own sound, our own flavour that he's, he's given us and we just want to celebrate that and get that out you know, beyond vineyard movement, really. Jesus. I think music is an incredibly powerful thing. And um, I think that, you know, God is, God is the author of creation. You know, he, all creativity comes from him. You know, time and time again in the vineyard, we've seen God use uh, the power of music to do several things, you know, to express uh, who he is, to draw people towards him. Um, and that's a huge part of, of what worship does, but also expressing the, the truths of the Bible in a way that we, we may never get hold of reading a commentary or a theological book. It's the power of a song, you know, a melody and a lyric that expresses those, those truths, and it's incredibly powerful. A big part of Vineyard Records UK is resourcing local churches. Uh, we resource churches across the Vineyard movement and we do that by supplying them with CDs, books, DVDs, um, any kind of materials that can assist them in the ministries that they do in their ch local church. Churches are often involved in a lot of different um, elements of serving their local communities. That can be uh, doing poor ministries, that could be doing, running groups where they're teaching people uh, about the Bible and about worship or um, or they maybe they run a, a group where they need to have music played. We, we're a great one-stop shop for those churches just to come and say we need this have you got it can you supply it when we um, when we have songs come out of the movement we often pick the ones that are working well which we think would work well nationally uh, we then will take them record them maybe live or in a studio setting and create an album um, that album will then be marketed manufactured all from here and we store them here in these on these shelves and it's a way that um, we can deliver songs that we feel that, that God has given to the Vineyard Movement and maybe further as well um, to churches to get them into people's hands. They can come to us, see our latest album release uh, and buy that for their worship teams, their congregation members or maybe just to give away to people in the community. Over the years I've done plenty of, of jobs uh, where you feel like you're clocking in and out and you're watching the hours run down to the end of the day. And now to, to do this and to work on worship records, it's just a, it's a huge privilege, you know. Um, I think there's, a, there's an element where it goes beyond a job as well. It feels like it, it's also a calling, you know. And, and what drives us as a team here is a sense that we're, we're building something that's bigger than, 
ourselves and bigger than kind of making money for an organization or some other body, but it's actually, I feel like we're, we're doing something significant you know, in terms of building the kingdom in this country. It's something I feel really passionate about. When I did become a Christian and I started to find out about worship, and I went to a vineyard church, I started to hear these songs. And um, the truths in those songs and the words that were being written, they were, they were deep from the heart. Um, you, it, was like, it was like, for someone who'd never read the Bible, it was like listening to modern day Psalms. It was a, it was a cry, Christ the Lord, praise to him, um, ways of explaining the gospel in, in modern English. You know, you hear someone sing a song about what it means, what the cross means, what it meant for Jesus to come and die for us. And they say that in words that you currently understand and it's coming out in musical form and, it's, and it, it changes your whole perception. You suddenly have revelation about what it is to be a Christian and to, and to serve the Lord. And so Vineyard Music, I think, strives to do that still. We, we, we always are looking for songs that are coming out of the local churches that are being written by people who are writing songs to communicate love for God, love for Jesus and intimacy with him, which is a big part, um, or to give declaration of his glory and his wonder and to allow people to enter into a place where they can sing songs to understand who God is. And, and we've had great stories over the years where people have heard these songs, sang these songs, uh, maybe received healing during worship, I mean, powerful think, um, claims, and, um, or even just had um, that message of hope given to them in a time of darkness, and it's, and it's kept them going. It's given them, it's given them hope when they, everything else around them was, was falling apart. And we have to keep doing that. We have to keep documenting and keep putting out there what the Lord is doing through songs, through worship. Still to come after the break, Sute, who believes he was called to sing for the Lord. We'll be meeting him and hearing some of his music. Welcome back to Revive, a focus on modern Christianity in the Humber area. Next up, we're meeting Sute, a local Christian music artist based in Hull. Hi, I'm Sute. I am part of the music at Revive Church, so I sing. You've been good to me in times of troubles, there for me to lift me up. Through university, while I was studying my economics, God just came through to me and it was very, very clear um, that he was saying to me, I want to go um, to the United Kingdom and I I'm going to use you, I'm going to use your voice. You know, this is, it was a very clear instruction. You're a father and a friend, you are the Lord. Mm -hmm. 
I feel God is using me because the songs that I, I have recorded now are songs that I wrote 10 years ago. Only you can make me smile. Only you has got um, words in it. The chorus goes, call me friend to the friendless. Call me father to the fatherless. Call me love to the loveless. Only you can call me friend. So I, I took that song, I understood that song, and I took it out of um, the context of Jesus saying, you are now my friends. Hey, I'm that close to you. I call you a friend. I don't um, see you as an enemy. I don't see you as a sinner. You know, um, I, I'll take you as you are. You know, you're a friend. I feel that my songs are Holy Spirit inspired. I don't play an instrument and, you know, stuff like that. So I, I don't sit down and construct a song sort of thing. And my inspiration comes um, just like that. It, it comes um, sometimes when I'm walking down to university, I just get something, uh, a note in my head, um, and then a song starts to build in my heart. And then I realize, uh, reading the Bible, I realize that and this is actually God speaking to me. This is the Holy Spirit dropping inspiration into my heart. And then what I do is I sit down and um, try to understand the theme of that song and what God is trying to say to people through that song. We want and we wait, Lord, anticipate the moment you choose to appear. You know, there's, there's also a sense of God's presence when I sing, I notice, well, when I'm upstage, and this is what I see upstage, I sort of look at the audience and everyone is, is almost drinking in the words. It's almost drinking in what I'm, what I'm singing upstage. Most importantly, I really want people to get saved. My concert for 2015, um, I've called it Believe. Firstly, I'm approaching it through believing in yourself. And the other aspect would be believing in God, you know, which is um, the main focus really. Getting saved would be um, believing in Jesus Christ. And I use that theme based on John 3:16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. So I believe that that scripture sort of sums up everything about someone who's not a Christian and, and then becomes a Christian. So you, you get the understanding that, you know, um, although you're a sinner and your life is a mess, um, God still loves you. And he doesn't only love you, but he gave his only son um, to die on the cross for you. That's why... Um, we believe in Jesus Christ and you know after you believe in Jesus Christ um, you know you have a guaranteed future in God um, and, and in heaven out there you, people don't really have peace and I feel that that's one of the things that I, I really enjoy as a Christian. God doesn't only want you to enjoy life here on earth, but also in heaven. So I've kind of summed it up as the gospel is really good news. It, it acknowledges the fact that we are human beings, okay, and we do sin and we do make mistakes. Um, but at the same time, it also makes provision for grace, for forgiveness, and if you're actually serious you know to live um a peaceful life you can live a peaceful life
Sute, they're one of Hull's gospel artists. Through history, Christians have always found a connection between music and their experience of God, as though they somehow meet God in some way as they sing. Through the pages of the Bible, King David would claim to deepen his relationship with God as he sings in worship to him. In Asia, a tribe that had recently discovered the gospel, only three months before, a friend of mine walked into the building where they were now learning to be church, and they were singing a song that had been written in Hull in their own dialect. They said, somehow we experience God in the music. In South Africa, a suicidal alcoholic was walking past a church and heard a song written in Hull being sung. As the sound came through the door, she felt compelled to go in and she said her life was transformed. Again, she experienced God somehow in the music. I hope you've enjoyed the music in today's show, but the question is, is it more than just music? That's what a gospel artist would want you to ask. If you'd like any more information on anything you've seen in today's episode, please visit our website at revivechurch.co.uk where you can find links to and information about all of the features from this series. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter.